If you invest in real estate, then chances are you put a lot of focus on your cash flow. But what does cash flow really mean? All investors have a different perspective, but most fall into three popular categories. Putting less money down and keeping more money in your pocket making monthly income and cash out refinancing to gain the most leverage. All three of these cash flow strategies share two common similarities. Number one, using the Burr method, buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat. Number two, buying under market properties. Today, let's dig deeper into the first cash flow strategy, putting less money down. Investors who take this approach aim to limit their initial outflow so they can keep more money in their pocket. Which gives them the opportunity to buy more homes with the same money. They also like to focus on leverage. By limiting the amount of money they put into each deal, an investor can gain a lot more leverage. More leverage means you keep more money in your bank account. But it also means you lower your monthly cash flow. But that's okay. It's not always about monthly income. It can also be about equity. Let's take a look at an example to show you how this strategy really works. Meet Jane and John. Each of them have $50,000 to invest. Jane decides to buy her property at the full MLS retail value of $250,000, and she's going to put 20% down. Let's do the math real quick. 20% of $250,000 equals $50,000. That's Jane's entire savings. She can only afford to buy the one property. Then she's going to have to save up to buy another. John, on the other hand, decides to use the Burr method to invest his $50,000 because unlike Jane, he wants to limit the amount of money he puts down at closing. So John finds a wholesale property for $225,000. And then he finds a lender who will give him a loan to cover that cost. He then must put $25,000 of his own money into the property for renovations, closing costs, and so on. So, in total, he gets the property for $250,000. And unlike Jane, John still has $25,000 in his bank account. Better yet, the property has an after repair value of $300,000. So he gains $50,000 of equity. Add that to the $25,000 he has in his bank account, and his net worth increases by $75,000. He can use that money to do, well, whatever. That includes buying another property. So while Jane used all of her $50,000,
to buy one property. John used his $50,000 to buy two or simply live more comfortably. So now that you've seen an example, does this sound like your kind of cash flow strategy? If yes, great, let's chat. If not, no worries, let's chat anyway. There are still plenty of strategies to take and our team is here to help you discover which one works best for you. So give us a call today. We're so excited to set you on a path that makes you the kind of money you need to live the life you want. Hard Money Mike isn't just the place to start investing in real estate. It's the place to start living your dreams.